up, people? It's your beer girl, Melissa, and I am here in the Pine Bush store with my good friend Tor. Look, he's not in Kingston today. I stalked him out. He didn't know I was showing up, but here I am today. And we're going back to our tasting series. And today he's going to tell me about how to identify a beer sure. by its color. So we're going to talk about the first thing you do when you look at a beer, or the first thing you do with the tasting is you're going to look at it, right? So Absolutely. you're going to notice the color and all that. So he's going to pick out two different types for me. And um, Tor, I'll let you take the line, buddy. Okay. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour a couple samples. Um, we're going to use a New England IPA root here in New York um, from Industrial Arts out of Garnerville. Love Industrial Arts, and I know a lot of you guys do. It's very prevalent right yeah. now. Like they are hot on the scene. Definitely. Wrench is a fan favorite as far as the New England IPAs go. Okay, so pour it up. And so if you guys can remember, when we talk about a New England IPA, we talk about that hazy kind of color. So what I'm gonna expect, and we'll see when he pours it, is um, should be a little bit hard to look through maybe, and like a nice golden color. Absolutely, yeah, this is uh, strikingly beautiful as far as the New England IPAs go. You wanna bring it up? To yeah, the let's end? bring it up. So cool. go ahead, Tori, you talk, I'll show. Awesome, mm -hmm. so the style is known for its haze, as it's unpasteurized. It's unfiltered with a really low carbonation level. Um, yeah, the colors typically to style almost looks like an apple or a pineapple. Juice. Ooh, I like that reference. Yeah, so yeah. you cannot see through this. It is cloudy as Definitely. far as the clarity is concerned or hazy, like we say those hazy yeah. IPAs. And I know that this isn't a tasting, but guys, you know, I'm gonna drink it. So yeah. here we go. The haze is the good stuff. That's basically just hot proteins Hot particles. Mmm, delicious. So there's that's actually why it's hazy is because there's stuff floating in it. Yeah, a bunch so of I can't see through it. So. Protein. Yeah. Oh, so what you're saying is this is perfect for after my workout? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Still working on that athletic beer. Nice. I love that. Industrial arts, way to go. Yeah, they make some killer beer, so cool. So now what's the yeah, next favorite. what's the next kind of beer that we're gonna look at? What is the color gonna look like? Uh, I think we're gonna go with something rather on the, the dark side. Mm, my Opposite favorite. On the spectrum. We're gonna take a look at a stout. Okay. okay. So stouts, as you guys know, are my favorite kind of beer. You're gonna see that darker kind of color. Um, it almost looks like a like a coffee or an espresso. So we definitely should not be able to see through that. And if we do, then something's not right with it. I would say. So this is a beer I have not yet tried. This Ooh. is going to be the Lights Out Stout from Barrier out of Oceanside. Lights Out Stout kind of reminds me of our um, Lou's Blackout Stout that we created as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely cannot see through it. Like I said, it looks like an espresso to me, like a coffee type. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I love the, uh, the khaki color head that comes with the style as well. Gorgeous. Is Like what is a black and tan as, of course, I'm going to sip it. Sure. So a black and tan, I'm pretty sure, is uh, half of a lager and half of a stout combined. I've never made one, so. So this would not be it, even though it has that khaki colored head. Yeah, it's not a black and tan. That's really, really nice, is guys. It? it has a really, really prominent, like coffee note. Very, very smooth. Little hints of chocolate. Like not, not anything crazy. Everything's very subtle. Well executed. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Sorry, I gotta drink it. I, I can't help it. <laughs> Tour, you love me. I do. I do. Um, so what would you say as far as like, if you were going to recommend a style of beer based on its color, is that a thing? I mean, I, I suppose you could, yeah. Okay. If you want something strikingly beautiful, you typically lean towards the wild ales, as you never know what you're gonna get. It's kind of a mixed bag. A lot of guys use a fruit puree. So, okay. Yeah, you could get something that's neon pink, or. For, for someone that's not an avid beer drinker, where we see like those, the, some of the lighter ales and like the Pilsners, is there, is there more to it? Or is it just like luck of the draw with the color? <laughs> um, a lot of it has to do with the, the malt. Okay. So you have a lot of different kinds of malts out there. You have Carapils, Maris Otter, Vienna malts, stuff like that. And it's, it's gonna play a big part in the brewing process. The outcome of the color, anything from um, a light colored straw all the way to uh, deep amber. 
So depending on the color, if that's your thing, um, you can come in, ask one of our beer experts tour, um, or any of the beer experts, depending on what store you are, say, I really like this color, or you know, maybe you have a theme party and you're like, I need to have this or that or whatever, and they'll pick out the perfect um, color for you. Now, again, we're doing our tasting series, so I wanted to really go through each of the portions of tasting, as you, if you will, and obviously the first thing, besides looking at the can, or the bottle is gonna be the color is what you're gonna see. So that's why we highlighted this today. Definitely. Stay tuned for more. We'll go through this tasting process one by one and uh, hopefully we'll learn something together. I guess we'll cover the nose next time. Oh, nose is perfect. My favorite part. Mmm, I love it. I love a good smell. Hopefully it's it's a good smell and not a bad one. If it's a bad one, I'm like, oh. We'll pick out something else. I love it. All right, well stay tuned guys. Thank you again, Tor, for Thanks humoring for me, me. and coming always. And on that note, uh, Beer Girl and Tor are out. Take care, guys.